guys so I am back and I'm here for part two of the Q&A video as I mentioned in part one I asked you guys to get to leave me questions a year ago like literally a year ago I made a quick video just asking you guys to give me questions so I could do a Q&A series and I did do three videos that covered a bunch of topics I did one with my husband and I did two separate ones and I'll leave them linked below so you can check that out but I left a lot of questions unanswered and I didn't want to leave you guys hanging so since I'm on my lunch break I figured it's nice outside I'm just gonna go ahead and try to answer some of your questions I did a part one but it got really long so I will leave that linked below so I'm gonna try to do this part two and get more questions answered so now I'm moving on to nails and hair so all the questions that were related to nails and hair I'm gonna get into now beauty times fashion time style says why don't you wear your hair curly and really I don't wear my hair curly because I don't have much of a curl pattern left because I've straightened my hair so much and I've done the Brazilian blowout I don't have much of a curl pattern so my hair doesn't naturally just ha make beautiful curls and coils and you see those natural hair girls that have these beautiful curls and they just they look so pretty my hair doesn't naturally do that anymore so when I wear my hair curly it just ends up looking like a stringy mess so I don't typically wear my hair curly and I find that straight hair is actually easier to handle and maintain so getting ready in the morning it's easier for me to just do my hair and get it together straight since I don't wash my hair I wash my hair I try to wash my hair once a week maybe twice if I if I if I really need to but I try to like stretch it out so keeping it straight is easier to keep it like to, it's easier to style it day to day versus keeping it curly because if I do it curly I feel my hair is very oily and it gets oily very quickly so I feel like I need to wash it more often when I wear it curly which is not very good for my hair so you know curl texture is off you know yeah hopefully that answers your question makeup by Nesha or Nisha says what's your secret for getting longer healthy hair like yours oh you think my hair is healthy oh uh, I don't really have any I can't really say I have any secrets because my hair ever since I was born because of my my mix so my ethnic background the Indian and the black yes East Indian actually <clears throat> not the mango India my mom's <clears throat> ooh, child my mom's ancestors are from India so she's a hundred percent Indian so I did get a good mix of hair where the strands are very thick if you've ever seen like Indian hair the strands are very thick and not that the hair might the hair might be thin but the strands themselves are thick so they're very resilient they hold up to a lot of things so my hair already naturally holds up to a lot of styling and it's just stronger and I do have split ends don't be fooled that I don't have split ends I do have split ends but my hair is so thick the strands are so thick that when I do get split ends I can almost peel off one side and the other side still stay strong does that make sense that's very weird but beyond that I wash my hair I try to stretch when I wash my hair so I try to only wash it maybe once a week so I try to stretch when I wash my hair the more you wash black hair or mixed hair the more it dries it out especially when it's a curly texture so I try to limit when I wash my hair and then I do a deep condition so I don't use regular conditioner like a you know typical conditioner shampoo conditioner and they have the two I use a deep conditioner always I use the macadamia mask hair mask so it's a richer conditioner so I use that and I leave it in my hair for at least 15 minutes and on the weekends if I'm washing my hair on the weekends I can leave it in for longer almost like two hours and then I wash my hair out so I try to do that with the deep conditioning especially since my hair is colored and I am going to actually brighten up this ombre so it's time to bring it up and brighten it a little bit more so we're gonna do that on Thursday so wish me luck and again just you have to condition your hair and use good conditioning products for your texture and since I do a lot of heat styling I do use a heat protectant in my hair and I try to minimize 
heat styling. Not that I'm minimizing heat styling, but I'm only heat styling my hair once a week versus daily. Do you get what I'm saying? So minimize heat. Minimize washing, use good conditioning products, but again, it has to suit your hair type. Um, as far, oh, take vitamins. Vitamins are key, and I found that taking, don't even hair affinity, don't even bother with that crap. Any multivitamin will do, okay? Any female scared multivitamin will do all I did was take regular multivitamins and my hair and my nails actually benefited from that and having a good healthy diet and drinking a lot of water goes without saying that kind of also goes to your hair so just stuff like that Coco giggles lots <laughs> you're funny <laughs> says I would love to see a nail tutorial nails are always so beautiful how long does the nail look last before chipping and how often do you change it up I don't know what you mean about a nail tutorial. I do have an at-home manicure tutorial that I will link below and showing you just how I do my daily, like my regular manicure before I do actual color. And my, I change my nail polish once a week. Sometimes I'll push it 10 days, but I change it about once a week. I don't get chip in. Typically, I don't get chip in because I don't do crazy hard lip. I mean, I do cook and wash and clean and stuff. Well, not wash, but I do cook and clean and I guess I do. Well, I don't do vigorous stuff with my hands, so my nails don't chip. And I use a very good base coat and top coat, which is the Formula X from Sephora, the base coat and top coat. Hands down, my favorite top coat and base coat. I have tried other ones. They don't come as close. Not even, not even at all. I feel like the formula did change a little bit because the top coat gets a little bit thicker, kind of like Sech Beat did. So I'm wondering if they changed that. But it's still my go-to and I don't, I base coat, nail color, top coat and I don't get any chip in and they last a, a week and if I push it 10 days. Angel Sweet said, are there anything you do to faster hair growth? I, I mentioned that I don't do anything for my hair, I think it's just naturally just based on genetics my hair grows a little bit it grows faster and you have to maintain healthy hair so it doesn't break off so one is actually just natural setup take your vitamins your hair will grow and then taking care of the actual growth so it doesn't break and break off you know should help out Ada and Dune says, what are your tips on restoring natural nails after wearing acrylic and what nail products have been holy grail for you? Thanks. You know, I actually want to do a video on this, growing out your nails after acrylics. I had acrylics for years. Like I said, I would say like going on seven, almost 10 years, like seven to eight, seven, eight, nine years. Like I can't pinpoint exactly when. But my nails were always soft and they would bend and they would break since I was a kid, even way through high school. And then I started wearing acrylics, you know, because I wanted nice nails. And then I lifted, one of my acrylics lifted and then I had a green like mold on my nail and I was done after that. I was, I was too through. So I took off the acrylics, soaked them off. My nails were very thin afterwards and I think I can do a separate video because I think that would be a helpful video. But soaked off the acrylics, you need to know that your nails are going to be thin and painful. Just be mindful of that, especially if you wore acrylics for a while. Even if you just wore a couple of times, it's still going to be thin because they thin out your nails. So I had to wait for my nails to grow out. So it took a couple of months for the full length of my nails to grow out. Because all of that thin nail, you can't thicken up the thin nail. That's going to need to grow out. So what you need to take care of is your new growth. And I just kept clipping them down, clipping them down until my new growth was coming in. And I used different nail proteins and stuff to get it done. But again, I'll do a video on that because I think that would be a very good um, video. As far as Holy Grail products for nails, I use the Zoya Remove Plus Nail Polish Remover. It's a remover, cleanser, and prep three-in-one. I swear by that. It doesn't dry out my nails it conditions them it keeps them nice it removes nail polish like uh, acetone pure acetone would so I use that 
um, base coat and top coat again formula X from Sephora I swear by that my nail teaks formula right now I'm using the formula 2 plus protein and that is those are my holy grail products like hands down things that I definitely recommend without a question miracle valdez says do you still dye your hair and do you still use the installer i still use the installer it is the only tool well i have a flat iron too that i use that is from sidu it's the sivu revolution flat i um flat iron that's what i use and i use the installer i've gotten the dual rotating iron so you can change the rotation i have that but that's what i use always and will forever use the installer on my hair the rotating brushes just smooth out my cuticles really well and it straightens my hair really well and the damage is kind of minimized i don't use a flat iron because that's more damaging but that's what i use and do i still dye my hair i'm i'm figuring i think you mean that i dyed my hair before no i don't dye like my roots or anything but I did get an ombre which was really just bleach so it's not hair dye like it doesn't wash out so it's I guess I wouldn't consider it the same thing because it, it's not washing out at all but I guess it's still hair dye so yes I do as of a month and a half ago or two months Mega L Freya says, Tina, please, how do, how do you keep your nails so nice and long? Thank you. Again, I'm going to do a video on like nail care and how to get your nails nice and long, especially after acrylics. And I'll leave my at-home manicure video linked below. Ruby Cathedral says, can I, how can I get my hair to grow long and healthy? I already mentioned that. Redbone26 Twin, can you do a hair routine video? I guess I could, but I already did videos covering my hair, but I think I can do an updated one on like products that I use maybe, or how I, st is that what you want? Let me know what exactly you mean by that Redbone 26 twin if you watch this video. Beck Smith says, big fan of your videos, thank you, also love your long nails. So hard to keep long nails as lovely as yours. Could you keep growing your nails long? Or show off products using a point of view camera angle and do it with a silver nail polish on and another video with your most recent nude polish. Beck, you doing the that's I am I I'm am I the only one weirded out by that? Like a very specific I I don't like that. <laughs> Sorry, uh, that's not gonna happen. Thank you. London Jackson also asked about the secret to growing long healthy hair and I think I touched on that and Yaz P asked is that your real hair yes it is my real hair <laughs> yes it is my real hair I don't have weaves or wigs or any other extensions I don't have clippings this is my real natural well mostly natural hair I love your hair do you get perms no I, a perm is a relaxer I don't get relaxers I don't get perms I don't do any of that I just use uh, installer again you wanted to see a hair video so what do you actually want to see in the hair video let me know Twan Twana Taylor says my question is how do you prevent your nails from getting chipped when you wear nail polish I address that use a sticky base coat um, and a great top coat that's all I do and then if you use a cheaper brand of polish sometimes the formula itself is very chip what do you what would you say it's it's i always lose my words oh my god it is prone to chipping yes some formula is our formula is some formulas are very prone to chipping like i find the julie g nail polishes who i love julie g and i hope they change the formula but when i bought them a couple of years ago when she just debuted they chip like crazy i don't know if the formula has improved but the ones i got they chip like next day even though my base coat and my top coat didn't change so there are just some brands that and some formulas that chip a little bit quickly more quickly so maybe oh she says here the nail polish that I use are sinful colors they only last about two days so maybe the sinful colors brand the formula is just a chip prone formula you might want to just switch brands altogether because some like I said formula some formulas just chip no matter what so 
base coat, top coat. Oh, and when you're applying your nail polish, make sure that they are void of oils. So use a nail polish remover or acetone. I recommend using, again, the Zoya Remove Plus. It's also a nail prep, so it kind of dry outs or dehydrates the nails, nail beds, so your color will stick better. And using a sticky base coat will make the color stick and last. So change from sinful colors, girl. Do something better because sinful colors not work for you. Not work at all. It's not working. So that covers the nail and hair questions and that's all i have time for today so we will cover other questions in upcoming videos i have two sections left that i can't cover right now obviously i have youtube and blog questions and then makeup chat and advice questions which is going to be a lot another long video but yeah, so I got through two of the sets of questions, which I'm very happy about. I will leave the response videos links below so you can check out other videos if you're interested. And yeah, that's going to wrap this up. And until my next video, which will be very soon, I'll talk to you guys. And thank you guys so much again for watching and supporting me. And I love you and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.